Volunteers are the lifeblood of so many organizations, and if not for the volunteers, many programs would either be less valuable or non-existent. The Winona Senior Friendship Center is one of those agencies which relies heavily on its volunteer workforce. And this past Wednesday, the Friendship Center honored its volunteers with an Hawaiian luau theme party. With a staff of just six people, Executive Director Malia Fox said she needs volunteers for the center to function. She has a roster of around 150 volunteers who donated over 4,500 hours last year to help provide over 95 different activity offerings for seniors at the center. Our activity council president just um, indicated that the amount of hours times by an hourly wage comes out to $110,000. That's another $110,000 on a taxpayer's, um, you know, tax statements. We're doing this through volunteers, so it's it's absolutely essential. So you've got the exercise science students, their practicum hours, and then you've got our members who are running the card games and the bingo games. And I, I, a lot of people say about the Friendship Center, I didn't know you had that much. Oh my gosh, you have so many programs. Well, we really have so many programs because we have people that can help us run those programs. So. Volunteers at the Friendship Center come primarily from within its ranks. However, students from Winona State University and area schools lend helping hands as well. The social work students, um, this is kind of their gerontological experience and for many of them it's the first time that they've really uh, walked into an older adult facility and um, it's always fun to see at the end that they realize that older adults are just like them. So the, the amount of wisdom and the conversations and the relationships just really meld together really well and they do really enjoy their experience. I did it in high school just for fun, for the heck of it, at a senior center, or a, a volunteer place, and um, it's just fun. They have a lot of life in them, and they, they're more outgoing and lively than some people might think, and that you learn a lot from them. They have a bigger perspective on life, and they just inform you on a lot more. And they do gossip a lot, <laughs> I'd say almost as much as teenagers, but it's just nice to, you know, sit down and talk to them and hear their stories and their outlook on life. Andrea and Heidi spend about a day each week visiting seniors in their homes and helping out around the Friendship Center. And one thing is certain, they enjoy their time spent with members of the center. I just learn a lot from them. I mean, they have, you know, people, like I work with a married couple, and just to see their love for each other is just really, like, rewarding to know that that's still out there. And you just learn, like, what life's about, kind of. And it's just, I don't know, it's a good time. Like, it's not <clears throat> just volunteering because I have to. It's I actually enjoy spending time with people here. They're all really nice, and obviously anyone that goes to the senior center here, they like to have fun. I mean, they're out to do something and get involved in the community, so it's fun spending time with them. I just like to hear their outlook on life and their opinions about certain things. It's interesting to see, and just to interact with them is amazing, and I do look forward to coming each week, and when we aren't able to come because of a holiday or something, it just seems weird not being here. They look forward to seeing us, I think, and I hope so. just <laughs> in, enjoying our company, and seeing what we're doing at college and what college life is like right now at Winona. Technology played a new role in Wednesday's party. Volunteers went into the homes of two former longtime volunteers, setting up computers to allow them to join the festivities through the internet. Fox believes that this is a great way to reach seniors who may be socially isolated due to illness, injury, or limited mobility and have them involved in activities. Medical things occur, deaths occur, and um, people are left alone in their home and maybe their transportation has become limited or because of health concerns things are limited. So we are hoping to get back into people's homes via the internet, kind of like a Skype per se, ours is called Zoom, and we can have 25 people at a time coming back to the center and doing programming with us, but more importantly, and this is one thing, Dave, that always floors me, you would think after 30 years of doing this, I would understand that it's the social component, but I never program for the social. I always program for the benefit of health or the benefit of mental health or education. 
watching our two women in their homes today coming back, their former volunteers, and watching them come in here via the internet and visiting with all of their friends, it's all social and they're so happy to see one another and they're just touched that we would remember them and we would um, ask them to come and be with us today. And incidentally, the party was planned by the Centers for Student Volunteers as their way of saying thanks to all of the volunteers who helped.